name is John Hodgman. I was threatened on Facebook by somebody really creepy who doesn't like me posting weather anomaly stuff or um, calling out the ULF waves. Um, the government's up to no good. They're causing all these Colorado quakes or Colorado uh, storms and floods. They have the use of harp technology. And I believe I'm being attacked. If you look in the sky, the cloud patch just covered it. If you look in the sky, it's pretty much clear of ULF reading. That up there is slight readings. That is readings up there. When this cloud moves, you can see here very strong patterns repeatedly right over my house. Nowhere else, really. Tell you what, my dog's freaking out. I can taste it. The use of microwaves, Tesla technology. my Facebook. If you check the messages, you'll see that someone just friended me that I thought I was friends with before. Said she was astrologist. Here moves the clouds. But I think the message was intercepted. This person told me threaten me in so many words, told me I better sleep with something under my pillow tonight, most likely under the guise of the girl that I was talking to, or about to talk to. trying to spread, spread truth about these Colorado floods. Everybody knows it's man-made. See it real good right now and I tell you I do not feel right. Lining up real strong. Nowhere else. Just above me. I've been at this for a while and I've gotten good at 
improving weather modification. This is what I get. I can feel it and I can taste it. I'm sure they know exactly what I'm doing on my computer. I don't know what to do. Look, nowhere else. Directly over my face. Not anywhere else. Nowhere else is like that. Right over my house. What's up, folks? John Ogden. The last thing I want to do is uh, have you all think I'm totally crazy. Um, trying to get a message out, as are a lot of video makers like myself, trying to spread the truth and show these apparent radar anomalies <clears throat> that are causing this weather. I know a lot of us are aware now, and a lot more on the fence, and a lot just don't believe it at all. But, um, I was recently trying to friend somebody on Facebook, and I truly believe that their profile, or them in actuality, uh, were hijacked by another source um, that commenced to tell me what I had done that evening and what's happened a couple days before. Things in my house that have happened, uh, they actually uh, said to me that they knew certain things that I had been up to. Um, at that point I went on uh, just stupid mode and just kept chatting along to see what else they were going to say. 
but uh, apparently they've heard phone conversations and somehow or another new things that have actually happened to my house but um, those ULF readings I showed you above my house it's no shit man they were nowhere else in the sky and pinpointed right above my place from an angle of course but um, I told you about the night that I wailed my head against the desk uh, I didn't tell you it happened three times I had a couple beers that night but I'm telling you it, it, it was I'm Irish man I can handle my beers and my booze uh, I was trying to keep us up with Fukushima facts and I was trying to uh, do a picture save you know so that uh, so I could document what Fukushima was up to with the typhoon and I just suddenly passed out but I remember before I passed out I, I couldn't say I couldn't uh, save the picture something wasn't working right suddenly I've never had problems with the picture share before and and it wasn't working right all of a sudden next thing I know I'm I'm, I'm I'm waking up, slamming my head against my desk. Um, I came to for a minute, and I actually tried to work more on the uh, the Fukushima thing. I got a hard head, by the way, but um, I couldn't do it. My my hands weren't working right. The picture thing wasn't working right, and I guess I passed back out. And I woke up, slamming my head against the desk again. It happened one more time. And I couldn't get out of the chair, I remember. I just kept hitting my head against the desk. Uh, anyways, this chat I had, the first, one of the first things they mentioned was that uh, if, if, if you seem like a crazy guy, nobody's going to believe you. And you're pretty much end up in a mental institution you know, if you don't change something that you're doing. It was a threat saying somebody's gonna make me go crazy is the way I, I see it. And um to be honest, there's been a, a mind boggling pressure on my brain lately at my house. Um uh, my dog shows it. Me and my dog are real close, Coco. And she'll come up to me, I'm feeling the same way. And I used to think it was just the weather, because in Jacksonville when when uh, weather would happen, the microwave activity, I thought it was that that I could taste and feel. And people are electrosensitive to this, you know. And maybe it was just that at the time, I'm not sure. But I've actually had moments when I was tracking the storm, tracking radar, that I just locked up and I couldn't even type, you know. But to be honest, I'm feeling it right now. Uh, there's some kind of... I don't know if it's a harp thing or what, but you know, you hear about these soldiers in Iraq suddenly coming out from the from a hiding place with their hands up saying no more, no more, they're just giving up, you know, some kind of mental control. But um my dog's showing signs of being sick. My other dog uh real anxious when I'm feeling this, you know. <clears throat> but um yeah, I, I I was threatened, and um, I'm not sure what to do about it or anything, but uh, I just want to warn people like myself out there who are trying to share truth and see if they have any uh, similar effects on them. But um, they even. Uh, this person even told me, as I was playing stupid, I said I was going to go eat and go to bed. He even told me, uh, you better sleep with something under your pillow, something special. And be prepared to have crazy dreams. I literally woke up in the middle of the night, the other night, kicking and thrashing around. I kicked the table next to me, about broke my toe, out of a dream, just suddenly. And the night before, I was I was doing a uh, radar research. Last night, 
I, I told you guys that I was going to share radar research with you and that it was a good night for it. And I don't remember going to bed. All of a sudden, I wake up, I'm in my bed, and I go look at my computer, what was the last thing I was working on, was I was just about to share the radar research that I had done. Um, it, it was right there, and all of a sudden, my, my writing, you know, my, my, my typing on the computer, just turned into gibberish. And I don't remember anything, you know. It, my, my, my typing turned into gibberish. It was like... And... Um, Apparently, I got up and went to bed. Guys, I this isn't me. I'm a soldier, man. I've been known to stay up for days. I know in the video I look kind of rough. I probably look rough now. But uh, to be honest, I feel rough. You know, uh, there's something going on here. I'm being pinpointed. You know, I think I'm getting a little more traffic on me as far as people interested in what I got to say a lot of things are coming to fruition that I've been talking about. But um, I'm not going to let this shit stop me. You know, I might have to go about it a little different. But anyways, this is John Hodgman trying to fill you in on some craziness. Don't let me lose you now. I love you guys. Peace out.